Hey folks, it's Ken. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to find when I came down here just now. Okay, my car is back over there, on top of that hill, way up there. This road here, behind us, is a 417, I think it's called a 419, something with a 4 in the title. But, if you go back that way, where we're, we're going to be going soon, that goes back home into Oviedo. Okay, then this road, which is Broadway in Oviedo, then turns into a Loma when it gets to Winter Park. Okay, same road, go back the other way, it goes into Geneva. Okay, now I say to you guys that I wasn't quite sure what I was going to find when I came down here because I'd never been down here before, for one thing, and I came searching for something completely different than what I found. I found this quaint little spot in this wonderful little canoe launch right down there. Okay, so you launch your canoe down there under the big bridge and you can take it down there. I'm not quite sure how far it goes. This is actually the little big econ forest. Really cool spot. So if you're a fan of my channel and you've seen my videos, uh, especially some of my nature trail ones, I do love going on nature trails. I love going on adventures. I think they're fun to kind of check out new things. And um, so I'm happy I found this spot just because it's a cool spot to hang out, kind of check it out and show you guys. But the reason why I came here was to look for something called the Oviedo Lights. Now it's a little early, it's a little early in, in the evening for that, but um, the month of October on my channel I tried to do something called the 31 Days of Halloween. And one of the things I tried to share and investigate was something called the Oviedo Lights. For those who don't know, Oviedo Lights are these mysterious orbs of lights that travel up and down this roadway so you can stand underneath this bridge, okay, this is between Oviedo and Geneva, and you can see these orbs of lights that travel the road from down here. Okay, some people have said that it's a, a ghost train that derailed many, many years ago, and the ghost lights from the train still travel. It's uh, mysterious, ghostly tracks. Some people say that it's allegedly Native Americans who are traveling on horseback. All kinds of theories surrounding that. Um, some obviously think, think that they're cars that used to travel on this road, okay? But some people say also they're swamp gases that appear out here in the water. So at night, certain temperatures. I'm obviously not a big scientist, so I'm not quite sure what would make a swamp gas. But um, that's one of the theories. So I came down here kind of checking out this area because I missed it during October. But I'm, like I said, I'm kind of glad I did. Now check it out with me. Let's go poke around down there. What do you think? Looks like some information used to be posted over there. I'm not sure if there is a hiking trail, but it'd um, be kind of fun to investigate one day when I'm, uh, you know, not kind of restricted with time. This was kind of on the way home. If I didn't already mention to you, back that way is our bank. So I got off of work today, got off of school, had to run some errands. One of them was to go to the bank. And on the way home, I said, hey, I'm driving right by that mysterious bridge here at the little big econ forest. So if you guys know anything at all about the Oviedo lights, if you've seen them or heard of them or know anything else more than I was able to share with you guys, let me know. I've done a little bit of investigating, but not a whole lot. So I guess I just like to explore cool spots like this place. I'm not going to go down there too much further. It looks like it's real muddy from all the rain we got the last day or two. So, just leave it here and let you guys take a look around. Kind of goes way back there. And you know what? I don't mind being down here this time of day. It's nice and cool. Actually, it's kind of chilly. I like it. Good stuff. All right, so curiosity got the best of me. I'm on the other side of the bridge. I went underneath all that. I got around all that wet, mucky stuff. And now I'm here. Not much more to see now. So allegedly, this is the place to be, right here. 
But like I said, it's too late tonight. I'm not going to hang out till dark. Plus, it's getting colder. So, I'm going to head home, see what Bridget's doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.